Hey everybody. Uh, hey, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, doing a deer or processing a deer at your on your own versus taking it in to get it done somewhere. And uh, you know, I personally do it myself. It saves some money, and uh, you know, you get the the full experience of you know not only are you out there hunting a deer shooting the deer field dressing it gutting it whatever you also get the experience uh you know the skinning process the uh, actual um, meat itself you get to see what's actually going on there um, and there's nothing wrong with taking your deer to have it done i don't you know i used to have it done when i was a kid just because i didn't know what i was doing but nowadays that uh, you know money's tight and you have you know you get older and you have bills and stuff like that you can't just take stuff to store like that or meat locker or butcher or wherever to have it done and uh so i do it myself and you know it takes a little bit of time but in the end i mean think of it this way that my local butcher shop that i could could have taken my deer to that i harvested already this year charges 80 dollars for the basic cuts and that's nothing special that's just your basic deer stripping all the meat on the deer you get wrapped and packaged that's it and that's all i do anyway when i do it you know if i do something special i already have that meat taken care of and frozen and what i do with it then is i package it in a freezer bag or something like that turn around freeze it till i actually use it and then pull it out of the freezer if i'm going to make jerky um, steaks you name it whatever i have you know i decide to make and that's when I actually, you know, take the meat and um, strip it of the fat or uh, trim it up or whatever like that. I, I really don't trim it um, um, until I actually get ready to eat it. It's just how it is, I guess. That's how I've always done it. Plus, you know, you, you don't waste a lot of time doing all that little tedious stuff when you have all that extra deer meat sitting over wherever you have it at. I usually sit mine in a, deer, in a cooler and pick it out as I'm, you know, processing it or packaging it however you want to do it and you know like i said that little those little processes like that of trimming and cutting out all the sinew and all that stuff it's tedious so what i do is i actually just take it like i said out of the cooler wrap it wrap it package it put it in the freezer just to get it chilled and frozen and then i do all that extra stuff later yeah it might take a little more extra time but hey you know i know where my meat's coming from and i know nobody else is touched it besides myself so i'm not saying those butcher shops or anything you know they're dirty places but that's just how i am i'm kind of finicky on things like that especially if it's something that i've done like if i went out and harvested that animal i want to do that animal i don't want to sit there and turn around and um, take it in somewhere to have it done unless it's you know something some circumstance came up that i had to you know i wasn't able to emergency or something like that i wouldn't waste the meat i would just actually go ahead and have it done something like that i can understand but i mean you got to take in consideration you're out there hunting you know a lot of people nowadays just go out pull the trigger and bam that's it that's all they do nothing else they just take their deer or whatever they harvested boar wild boar they just take it to the shop butcher shop and have it done they don't care and that's not the type of person i am i try to avoid spending the extra money if i you know possibly can and I understand it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you're going to hunt, you might as well do it to the full extent. Um, that's just the way I feel about it. You know, and everybody's not like me, but like I said, it saves me a little extra money. And plus, you know, like getting that, having the deer butchered from the skeleton to the meat, uh, to the freezer, it only takes me about, I would say, maximum two hours. Now that's actually skinning the deer stripping the meat off the bones uh cutting the meat into sections enough to fit in the freezer into a ziploc freezer bag and that's it two hours that's all it takes and <coughs> excuse me most shops butcher shops meat lockers or anything along that nature that harvest the deer for you they will actually take a while to do it now i'm not saying they don't have it done quick or anything like that but myself, like I said, two hours and that's it. Put it in the freezer. 
you drop off a deer to have it done somewhere, you know, during deer season, you're especially going to wait at least a week, that's minimum, to get your meat back. See, I've already had my meat the whole time. It's in the freezer. Let it freeze. <coughs> and once I let it get solid frozen, turn around and defrost it and eat it. That's how I do it. It just kills, you know, any bacteria, anything growing, uh, whatever. And I, well, I rinse it off before I eat it anyway, though. Like I said, I don't trim the fat off or anything. So, But I, any, I freeze it first off, turn around, defrost it, rinse it, trim it, and then cook it. So... <coughs> excuse me I could basically have my meat already ready to eat within a few days you know you're still waiting on your meat to have it done at the butcher shop and there's no telling if they even have it done yet if they've already got it deboned and de-skinned and everything there's no telling you don't know you just drop it off you just check it in get your deer tag uh, stamped or whatever get your uh, get your wire tag for the deer and that's it that's all you do so what I'd actually do is since Indiana has its own check-in station now I check in online and just take it straight to the backyard and start hacking away at it get the skin off um, I've actually found it easier to field dress the deer, deer hanging upside down on a gambrel that way all the stuff you know comes out due to gravity it makes it so much easier instead of having to do it on the ground there's so many times that I've done it on the ground it just uh, it didn't work out and I'm glad that I do it in the gambrel system now because you know it's, it just makes it easier and then you just rip the skin right down like anything else take the skin off of it you start cutting the meat the way you need to um, you know there's many different ways to get the meat off the deer I've seen a lot of people do it different ways and you're gonna find your own way if you do it yourself if you just start doing it yourself um, I've been doing it for a while, like I said, and you know I've got pretty good, decent at. It. I'm not saying I'm great by any means. You know I've seen people debone a deer within a few minutes, and you know they do that on a full time basis. That's them guys at the meat locker and stuff. They sit there and you know do hundreds of deer a day and can get them done quick. You know that's cool and all. I'm not, you know, but that's not that's not who I am. And you know eventually I'll probably get that quick, but all they do is just cut the meat right off the bone they don't trim it or anything either so that's why that's why they get it done so quick you know getting it trimmed and all that extra stuff sausage and jerky and all that crap that's extra so and it, you're going to get charged extra for it too but you know like i said you're going to save a little bit of money doing it yourself and if you don't like doing that stuff you ain't got the time you're just the type of person that don't have the time when you get to hunt you get to hunt that's the only time you get you know, I guess, you know, you might as well take it to the butcher like you've always been doing, but, you know, I try to plan my whole day around, you know, if it happens, if something happens, if I harvest a deer, and if I don't, you know, it happens that way, but, you know, it just, that's how, uh, that's basically how it is, you know, people who do it themselves versus the butcher, you know, like I said, you're going to pay a little bit more money, you're going to act, you know, doing it yourself, you're going to just going to spend your time doing it, you're not going to spend actual money and uh, that's about it really I mean and you know another thing on the time is you're going to be waiting for it to get back to you so you know like I said I already have my deer frozen within a couple days and ready to eat compared to still waiting to get your deer back so but anyway guys I just wanted to kind of elaborate on that topic uh hope i didn't bore anybody too much um but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this video um i'm pretty sure we'll see you guys on the next one take care everybody